Try to see what inspires you, which stories in inspire you. Read these stories because these stories, the, the stories of the saints, they are alive. Mm -hmm. uh, like a scripture, it is alive, it is a, a living uh, consciousness and you can access it and you can embed yourself with that. It is much alive. So reading with your eyes only doesn't break, doesn't bring too much. But if you touch the life of that story, this will uh, help you a lot. So reading these stories and looking at your own life, this is quite useful because you can see what is your heart longing for. Hmm? Longing for. And they are speaking the same. You see, your, your heart's longing and your fears are speaking the same language. They are. Because fears tells you where you have to cross and you interpret, I have to run away from this. But it's not, they are saying, you have to go through here. And your heart is pointing the same direction. So everything is speaking the same language. You have to understand the language. Hmm? Or you, fears tell you, surrender. Or, there. The heart is saying, there. So, it is the same. There, there is the map. The map lies in front of you. And there are those who, who look behind and they're precious, the things that are precious for them, it's still connected to the world and all these things and blah, blah, blah. And there are others that they follow the heart and they have different experiences. You see, the one that follows the heart eventually flying, finds divine love, glory, greatness, totality. Mm -hmm. The one who finds fear will find, who, who follows fear will find suffering, sadness about himself, failure, dealing with these energies, uh, rejection about himself, others, on all these things. So they will have different experiences. <laughs>